So on September 11th, I drove to the 1819 Innovation Hub. Unfortunately, this was one of my favorite forms of transportation, and it was definitely the quickest way to get to the Innovation Hub, even though it's one of the worst ways for the environment. Although I did this at about 7 p.m., so if it had been during rush hour, it would have been a lot different story. It was also very nice that it was the Innovation Hub is so close to 71, so when you want to go home, you can just get right on 71 and then uh, get on your merry way. Um, parking would also have been a different story if I didn't have a parking pass for the Campus Green Garage. Um, it takes a long time to get out of the Campus Green Garage if you're on the sixth floor, though, so that's probably the biggest problem with parking at UC. And also, since it was 7 p.m., there was a lot of parking still left at the Innovation Hub, so that was very nice, but it was 7 p.m. So it wouldn't have been like this during the class transition time. But um, it wouldn't be too bad driving there once or twice a semester, but doing that every day I would not want to do. I also took the UC shuttle on September 11th, and I think this is probably the most efficient and practical way to get to the Innovation Hub. And as students, we have already paid for the shuttle, so we might as well get our money's worth. As my dad says, you can't beat free. The only problem is that you have to wait a while for the shuttle to pick you up. And once the shuttle is too busy, you might have to wait a while. I used to ride the North Route shuttle every day, and when it gets busy, you might have to wait for two or three shuttles to go by before you can get on. Also, the new shuttle app is complete garbage. It drains your battery, and it takes forever to load. But overall, my trip on the shuttle took about 40 minutes round trip, and as long as they have enough seats, it is a very nice way to get the Innovation Hub. Riding the Metro was an experience. The worst part about the bus is waiting for it to pick you up. We waited for a good 15 minutes before the bus even showed up. Also, the bus driver shift ended, and they were switching bus drivers one stop before Reading Road, so we decided to just get out and walk the rest of the way. If they could lower the wait time at the bus stop, it wouldn't be too bad of an experience. But at the moment, it would be very expensive, even if you had the student bus pass to only pay $1 each trip. It would be about $150 to go round trip between main campus Innovation Hub five days a week for the 15-week semester. So it would only be a good way to go if UC worked with the Metro to get students a free bus pass for the semester. Then I think it would be a good way to get to the Innovation Hub. So the red bike is a great concept, and it's really awesome that we got to ride it for free. But the thing is, these bikes are heavy, so I just ended up pushing it 75% of the time I was riding it. Maybe I'm just a wimp, but it was so hard to ride those bikes up hills. I rode the bike twice, once from the Clifton Library to the dock by Panera on um, Calhoun Avenue, and I got it past Burnett's Wood, and I instantly regretted my decision. I basically pushed it from the business school all the way up to the dock by Panera. Um, the second time I rode it from the dock by McMicken College, the, the Arts and Science Building, and then to the uh, next dock on MLK, and I pushed it up all the hills on that trip too. I think that this would be a great way to travel if we flattened the hills in Cincinnati, but I don't see that happening until the next glacial period. So we'll probably have to wait a while. Walking to the Innovation Hub is probably the slowest and sweatiest way to get to the Innovation Hub. It is loud, filled with pollutants, and probably not very safe. Um, this would be also awful in the winter, and I've had to walk to the Innovation Hub every day in the spring semester when it's cold for more than half the semester. I would probably just drop the class. But it is good exercise, and it is doable, but it would be nice to have some walking infrastructure like water, shade, and snow clearing. I'd say my favorite way to get to the Nation Hub was taking the UC shuttle, mainly because it's the easiest, it's free, and it can be somewhat quick. But when I have to make a tough decision, I find the best thing to do is to ask my good friend Rudy. So let's go ask him. Hey Rudy. Rudy. Rudy, Rudy, this is important. Rudy, what's the best way to get to the 1819 Innovation Hub? Oh, you're so right.